till then we are living on the earth surface it is full of varieties of landforms like the mountains hills plateaus plains deserts coastal areas beaches like these we have full of variety so what are the causes for that variety what are the causes for for the variation of that landforms and how they are affecting us how we are influenced by them to understand these to understand all these we require some maps to study to understand the causes behind them require some maps so we have learnt in the previous class about some simple maps and that maps give the information about the environmental conditions whether a place is hot or cold hot or cold whether a place is getting scanty of rainfall or heavy rainfall whether the forest are thick or thin like that we have so many variety of maps today we are going to learn about the reading maps of different kinds it is our first lesson in this session in this class we are learning about the maps which shows the height the height is shown on the maps so we are going to learn about the type of maps before going to that we have to revise some symbols also already we have learned the different types of symbols used in our maps for the settlements for the trees for the forest for the post office for the schools and for the railway track for the kachcha road pakka road already we know that but today only we are going to learn about the point line and area symbols point line area symbols the point generally the india map political map is given here in this map we can see the states and the different states have the different capital cities we are locating that capital cities with the dot point so we are using the symbol we are using the symbol dot or point to indicate to find out a city or town a village or etc this is an important symbol the next one is the symbol line generally we are using the line symbol for the rivers in blue color and we are using the track line for the railway track line we are using the lines of track line is used and sometimes we should know about the area of our village area of our state area of our country then we are using the area symbol so these are the important symbols we are using physical maps when you go through the atlas you can find out some physical maps in the atlas they have the different colors blue color brown dark gray yellow and these are indicating the different types of landforms these are the indicators of mountains hills plains plateaus etc okay how can we show that how can you show them on our maps for example we can draw a picture we can draw a picture showing the heights of the village or heights of the any area 
and if there is a picture is given here that picture is showing the one side of the of course it is showing the height but not accurate but it is showing one side of the things and their elevation also is shown but behind that hills are mountains which were there we don't know about the behind things but in the map we can show all the things even behind that hills also we can show on the map measuring height on the maps we can measure the height from the sea level on the maps generally we know the all the seas or oceans on the earth surface are connected with each other so roughly we are estimating the sea level is same of all the water bodies on the earth surface this is also called as msl mean sea level how they calculate the mean sea level sometimes there are high tides and sometimes we have the low tides between the intervals of that high tides and low tides the scientists observed the intervals and they calculated the mean average sea level so this is the mean sea level we are calculating the heights on the surface of the area on the earth surface from the sea level and we have the picture of nimpur village and in this picture we can observe the village is located about the 50 meters about the 50 meters from the sea level and which is also shown on the map the height of that village is taken as the 50 to 50 meters and 50 meters to 100 meters and 100 meters to 150 meters they have given the three height zones here to indicate the height on the map they have used the different colors in india and telangana or ap physical maps also we can find the different colors to indicate different heights so the shade of color is the main tool to identify the height of that land in nimpur village map also we have the three lines one is the 50 meters line next one is the 100 meters line and another one is the 150 meters line these lines are showing the heights on that village so to show the heights in the map we are using the lines these are called as the contour lines contour lines the lines which join the places which have the same height from the mean sea level so it is nothing but contour lines are joining the places which have the same height from the mean sea level these are the contour lines of course their shape is the line shape is irregular depending upon the terrain land generally it may be irregular and sometimes the contour lines will be close and sometimes they will be far from each other if the distance between the contour lines between the two contour lines if they are close to each other if two lines are far from each other the landscape is gentle slope if the distance between the two lines is very little and they are very close to each other then the landscape is steep slope so like this these contour lines they are expressing they are showing the heights of a landscape easily with the help of colors also we can find 
easily need the heights on the maps with the help of heights shown on the map we can estimate the landscape whether there are any mountains or plateaus and how is that landscape is it the plain or is it the plateau region or any hilly region you can estimate the landscape and the mountains hills valleys and are all shown with the help of these maps showing the heights and also with the help of that information we use for our needs these are very helpful for constructing a dam or for constructing roads for example for constructing dam we have to estimate the physical features of that landscape and whether it is useful to construct a dam whether it is in the valley area or are there any mountains and which areas how much area will be submerged by constructing the dam we have to estimate and also by constructing the for for constructing the roads also we need some heights of that area to connect from one place to another place so to take our route it is essential for constructing the roads and constructing the dams and other purpose also for example one telecom company is there to establish to set set up their towers to set up their towers so they needed the maps with the help of that maps they can estimate the heights of that lands and forest of that lands 